Yo, 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 what up, what up? This is day three of the cleanse. Everything is going beautiful. The um, digestion is beautiful. Bowels are moving beautiful. Everything is just beautiful. But then guess what? There's a dark side to this thing too. You know what I'm saying? That's cravings, right? So that's what I'm going to talk about right now is like when you eating right and you're doing your thing and you're trying to get right, the cravings is going to come in and it's going to mess with you heavy, right? So the best thing to do when you're dealing with the cravings is just eat some fruit. No matter how much you craving whatever it is you want and you feel like the fruit not going to be satisfying, go ahead and eat the fruit any, the fruit anyway because I guarantee you it's going to satisfy that craving. Because like, you know, yesterday I was craving some french fries. It came out of the blue. And I'm like, man, like I was really ready to pull over and get some french fries. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I just doubled down, ate some bananas, and it went away. You know, from what I hear, they say that cravings last about 10 minutes. So if you can power through them cravings for that 10 minutes, you'll be all right. Or just go to sleep, you know what I mean? That's a form of fasting if you just go to sleep on it, you know what I mean? But if it's bothering you that bad, you definitely just got to eat some fruit. It don't matter what kind of fruit it is. Go ahead and get it in, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, those cravings. It's pretty much letting us know how much we are addicted to processed foods. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's going to happen to everybody. You're going you're gonna to have some form of cravings come through during this process. Uh, one of the other ways that you can make sure that you stay on point is to always make sure that you got some fruit around you. If you got to leave the house or, you know, go somewhere, make sure you bring enough stuff with you so... The temptation to pull over and grab something will be, will be reduced because you got something with you. You know what I mean? And just eat it. You know, it's going to take some practice. It's going to take some discipline to make sure that, you know, you overcome them cravings. Because you want to pretty much stay on point when you are doing this fruit fast, right? Another thing, too, that I was thinking about today is, you know, even though, let's say here and there you eat a salad or whatever, a big raw salad or whatever. The majority of the things that you put in a salad are actually fruits. You know what I'm saying? Because when you think about it, peppers, cucumbers, avocado, um, olives, tomatoes, these things are all fruits. So you're still consuming fruits. So don't feel like if you have to eat a salad here and there um, that you've fallen off or something like that. Because I got somebody that's doing this fruit cleanse with me and... Um, you know, they was feeling like maybe they was falling off if they just ate a salad. And I'm like, nah, because majority of the stuff you putting in it is, is fruits in itself. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, stay focused, stay encouraged. Don't let nobody discourage you. You know what I'm saying? Because people going to have, they're going to start talking and asking questions and, you know, saying things that, uh, you know, could discourage you or whatever. But just stay on point with that. But like I said, when it comes to the cravings, Make sure that you always got fruit around you. Take it with you. Get you a little bag and just put some fruit in there, you know. And it can be dried fruit as well, you know what I'm saying, just to help you get over those cravings. All right, I'll holler at y'all tomorrow.